Hey everybody, this is going to be an update video to the video that I made a couple months ago during the summer about quitting YouTube. And real quickly in the background is some PUBG gameplay. Uh, the game isn't very convincing, I only got like two kills, but it's something to put in the background. Oh, and by the way, this is going to be a very ranty video. Like there's, I haven't written anything down, I haven't planned anything. I'm just going to talk and I'll somehow edit this together late, uh, after. If you guys watched that video a couple months ago, pretty much the main thing that I said is I'm going to be quitting maybe sometime this year or when college starts. So I pretty much said I'm quitting, just not now. Now, over the past couple months, I've been doing a little bit of thinking and I think I know what the future of this channel is going to be. I've realized when I made that video, I was thinking too black and white. That's the type of person that I am. I'm very committed to something. It's very straightforward. With YouTube, you guys know I've made a video every two to three days. If my life depended on it for the past three years. So when I made that video in my mind, I'm only thinking I either do YouTube every two to three days or I quit. There's no middle. But I've been doing a bit of thinking and why. So basically what I'm telling you guys right now is I'm making a compromise. So like I said before, it's just the type of person that I am. I'm very organized, very strict. If I say I'm going to upload every two to, three days, two to three days, I'm going to upload every two to three days. But I've been realizing slowly with YouTube. So basically, guys, look, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put it all out in the open. YouTube is not fun anymore. So I'm going to make this compromise, which this is technically going to kill my channel in a sense, but it has to be done. So, I'm not going to go the black and white route. I'm not quitting. I'm not going to leave this channel and never upload again because I still have that passion to make videos. Here's, here's what's going to happen. It's a very simple answer. I will make any type of video whenever I want, whenever I can, and I'm uploading it here. This whole two to, every two to three days stuff, gone. Pretty much what I'm saying here is I quit YouTube, but... There might be videos randomly. They're not going to be scheduled. They're not. They might. They're going to be gaming, but they might not be. I'm going to upload whenever I want, whenever I want to. This gives me a more flexible schedule instead of having to do it every two to three days, making it not enjoyable. Because essentially, it's my fault. I made it a job when it should have been a hobby. So basically, what I'm saying here is, next week, I might stop making videos for months, and I might come back a random day, or most likely, you're going to still have videos every two to two to three days from now on. The inner robot inside of me probably won't let me stop. Like, two to three days after this video, you're probably going to see another one. And then probably another one. And probably another one. But, what I'm saying here is, if I ever stop, you know why. And be expecting for me to stop or take breaks. This is gonna, this channel is gonna become what it should have been in the beginning. So yeah, if I end up not making any more videos from a certain point, I'm not gonna make a quitting video. Take this as a quitting video, in a sense. So yeah, like I said, uh, this video, it might not be for anything. I might keep making videos every two to three days for the next five months. The main point of this video is, I'm gonna make whenever I want, whenever I want to. From here on out, be expecting either video quality to go up or down because it really depends on what path I take. I could not upload for maybe two weeks, but during that two weeks be working on one video that I'm going to make really good and upload it. Or it might be the exact opposite with me having no time. I make a really crap video in 15 minutes and I upload it. Who knows? The main point is this channel is changing. It's turning from every two to three days you get one gaming video to I don't know what I'm going to put up and I don't really care. I care about the channel and I care about the viewers. It's been three years. It's not like I don't, but I can't keep going the same way. Now, when thinking about making this video, I thought this was going to be a lot bigger. I thought I'd have more to talk about, but I think I got all the, thing that I, all the things I need to say out of the way. I'm going to go into all the reasons why... I personally don't enjoy it. So let's just kind of go off the top of my head. Probably the main reason is in the conditions that I record are very tough. So I know you guys can't see anything around me, but 
pretty much, I'm telling you this right now, you could probably see in the comments earlier, maybe I've made, a lot of times you see me wear gloves when gaming, a lot of people ask, why do you wear gloves? It is because it gets the temperature of my, the sun in my room. The only way to keep that down is with fans. But now, I can't record with fans on, that my audio is going to be crap. So this is one reason, recording is straight up hard. If I have to record 8 hours a day one day to get videos for the next week, it's living hell. And that's just the smallest reason. Um, one of the biggest is YouTube itself, the company. I don't know if you guys have been following with the news, but it's gone to complete crap. Now, I'm not going to go into it. You guys can search it up yourself, the adpocalypse and all that. I, I don't like where YouTube is going. I don't agree with it. I know it's not entirely their fault, but I just I don't trust them anymore. So I don't really want to be on their platform. You can basically sum it up to very bad judgment on YouTube's part, too much censorship, not enough communication. Another reason why is making videos is frustrating. Now I'll get into why it's because of the technology. You guys might have noticed my audio desyncing in videos, the, the video glitching, having FPS lag, that's because my $1,500 computer and my recording and editing programs don't want to work correctly. Sometimes I record for an hour and the, v the audio's desynced by 30 seconds. Randomly in the video. I've, it takes hours to fix that. Not to mention my computer overheating, my fans making too much noise. I'm trying to fix all these problems. Like, it's bad where I want to record for four hours. I literally can't do that. If I, if I put a four hour video file into my editing program, it kills itself. It doesn't work. I can't edit it. What I have to do is take hours out of my day to break it up into little chunks, render those, put those back in, and try to edit them that way. I don't want to deal with it. Other reasons is it's hard uh, and time. I If I do YouTube to my full extent, I don't play games. I literally come home, I don't get to play games because I just have to record everything. These are my last couple of years of true freedom. I don't know if I want to spend them in front of a camera. Another reason, which in my opinion is the most depressing one, nobody watches. Now, I say this over and over again. I'm not in it for the money, and I'm not in it for the fame. Because, first of all, it doesn't exist. Other than the very rare few people like Rice Gum, people don't get famous on YouTube anymore. And money, the apocalypse, that's going away too. So it has nothing to do with that. When you spend three years of your life making videos every two to three days and nobody watches, it's kind of depressing. And I'm not saying nobody watches. There's a few of you and I, I see you. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I spend a lot of time. I, I, again, I really do appreciate when people watch. Pretty much one of the main reasons that I've kept going with YouTube is, again, partly because I live like a robot and I don't like to change. And if I say something, I'm going to do it. I will do it. Um, is I like to treat YouTube as a time capsule. To this day, I still go back two years ago and watch my videos because I want to see what I was like, how I sounded. That's why I've been going for so long. I've always, I've, this is like a diary to me. This is something that I do every, every two to three days, every single week for the past three years. And I can go back on any week in these past three years. Which is the main reason why I'm going to keep going in a sense. Now there's a lot of other small reasons that I don't really want to get into. I don't want you guys get I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. The reason I'm doing YouTube, the reason I started is because I love making videos and I like video production and I like games. And that still holds true. I still love games and I still love making videos. And I've thought about quitting for months. You guys I mean, I didn't know if I said that, but I've been thinking about quitting for months because this hasn't been enjoyable. But any time I've sat down and truly thought, okay, time to make a video where I'm quitting. There's something inside of me that says, but tomorrow you're going to wake up and you're going to want to record a video. And that's still true. I come home every day thinking, oh, I want to make a video. What can I play now? The desire and passion to make videos isn't gone. I can't quit. And I guess we can get back to a couple of the reasons why this spurred me to do this. Another thing that kind of has been driving me nuts lately is knowing that 
essentially the videos that I make aren't very good. They're boring and they're unoriginal. Now you might say, oh, stop beating yourself up, but no. Look at my videos. I make Let's Plays that everyone else has done before. I make mediocre videos. Like, it's nothing special. I know my videos aren't good, but here's the thing. I never claimed that they would be. I did this for fun, remember? But there is a point where it's a little bit depressing because I want to I want to make good videos, but to make good videos you need time, and I barely have enough of that. I guess I'll share a few secrets on here while I'm at it. Um, ah, YouTube hasn't been an easy thing, but the thing is it's kind of my fault. It's just the way I am. Like I keep saying over and over, I'm like a robot. I like very organized schedules. I like repeating. I don't like things changing. So with me doing this for three years like this, YouTube became my life in a sense. Not in the sense that it's all I did. I did a lot of other things, but it grew on me and it attached to me. Whenever things on YouTube were going bad, my life was bad. These past years, I'm not going to lie, I haven't been exactly super happy. And I guess I'll kind of go through the timeline. So for the first two years, or maybe oh, first year and a half, uh, you guys can see my subscriber counts about 1,500, right? Well, it used to be 1,700, uh, but do you guys want to know how I even got it up to 1,000, right? Um, with advertising, pretty much. I would go on social media and talk to people uh, and pretty much tell them, hey, come check out my channel. And all 1,500 of you are here because of that. Because at some point in time, I came to you and asked you if you wanted to see my channel. And for those 1,500 of you, thanks for giving me an opportunity. Um, but essentially, that's how I gained subscribers. But I did that, not, not joking, for six hours a day for a good year. Nothing but stand on my little phone talking to people to check out my channel. And in between that six hours, making videos. It wasn't a good life, and it was very sad. In that period of time, YouTube pretty much was my life. After about a year and a half, I realized it was crap, I was wasting all my time, and I had accomplished nothing in the past year. Pretty much hung out with nobody. I'm not going to say I lost all my friends, but I, I didn't talk to them. So I stopped advertising, and my channel didn't grow. My views went down to 50 to 100 views per video to 10. I went from 1,700 to almost 1,800 subscribers. Now I'm down to 1,500 because people slowly kept getting bored. Another thing is just straight up the amount of stuff that I can post on there. You guys know I'm a Christian and I love gaming. Now all the games that I play aren't exactly suitable. Now. I don't not play these games, which is probably terrible to say for a Christian, but I play them. And games that I like to play, I post on my channel, but I can't post those on my channel. I did let myself at some point, if if you guys remember, do you guys remember the Dishonored playthrough? And do you remember the Bioshock Infinite playthrough? Go and try to find them. They don't exist. I deleted them. They're not what I wanted them to be. They're not friendly. They're not kid friendly. They're not Christian friendly. I might say I'm being a little bit of a wuss. In a sense, yeah. Now, you guys are just watching through a computer screen. You don't know me in real life. And I dare say I'm not like that in real life. But as far as my YouTube channel goes, I have to keep it clean. It's online. So, in a sense, what I'm saying here is I don't have as much freedom as you think I do. I have to control what I post. And it kind of sucks. But there's nothing that I can do about it. I'm forcing myself to stick to these rules but it makes me a little bit sadder and there's a really great game but i can't post it okay guys so uh yeah it's pretty much the video once again i'm gonna upload whenever whatever i want watch them if you want we'll see where this takes me but this video is pretty much saying to myself you have to stop treating like this you have to stop treating this like a job it's a hobby if you don't post for a week you're not going to die. You're going to be fine. I'm telling you guys this so I don't feel bad about it and ask where are the videos. Now, every if you guys want to talk to me, know anything about me, uh, you can DM me on Twitter. Oh, and probably another thing that I didn't tell you guys. If you guys noticed, my Tumblr is gone. Instagram is gone. Facebook is gone. Uh, most of my social media for my YouTube is gone. The only thing that exists is my Twitter.
because those are the sites that I used to advertise on and I don't want to see them anymore. So if you guys want to talk to me, know anything about me, uh, keep up with me as a person. Who knows? Am I still making vlogs on here? I don't know. Um, they're going to, you can message me on Twitter or YouTube messages. Even once I go to college, I will still be here. This channel will be here, dare I say, the rest of my life. Who knows? Maybe in 70 years, if if this platform even exists, I might still be here. But who knows? Maybe 22 years in the future, you'll get a video. It might be years between videos. It might be months. It might be days. It'll be fun to look at, but I honestly doubt that YouTube is nowhere near dead. But it's falling apart very slowly. Anyway, guys, I gotta stop rambling. I didn't get everything I wanted out in this video because I don't know how to word it. And I didn't organize it. But I think it's fine. You guys heard what you needed to hear. Uh, just know the most important thing is I want to make sure to get this out there. I never started for anything other than the passion for video making. That's all that I want. I want to have satisfaction of making a video and it's not satisfying anymore. or should I say it's not satisfying making videos like a robot. I'm going to continue to satisfy satisfyingly make videos in my own time whenever I want in my personal space the right way. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. If at this point you don't want to view my videos, if you want to unsubscribe, go ahead. Um, also, essentially, what I'm saying here is if I get 10 views, 1,000 views, a million views, I don't care anymore. I've been caring, and I'm going to stop at this point. Although, if you do, I do appreciate it. That doesn't change. So, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked this video, you can like and subscribe. Although, it doesn't really matter now, does it? But, um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Which, like I said, is probably going to be in two or three days. I can't stop. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it. So, uh, God bless, and goodbye.